as they threw away damaged rugs, mattresses, and other furniture. The water dripped from the dumpster, rainwater that residents at the Deerfield Apartments in Geneva Township say earlier today did this. We've been here since probably about quarter after six this morning, cleaning everything up. Carol Kaufman's home, which is right next to the apartments, also flooded this morning. You can see here the water even knocked down the refrigerator in their basement. But her concern is for everyone else. The people in the apartments have lost totally everything. We're trying to help everybody to find um, find beds for them, find dressers. As we left the basement, Kaufman told us the list of people needing help includes her own mother, who she tells us has been living in this apartment for about three years. Photos, personal documents, and even her power scooter were all left damaged by the water. I mean, it's just hard, you know, having to throw all your stuff away. You know, that means so much to you. You can also see the damage on the outside here in the brick. 14 apartments were damaged in the flood. I feel sorry for the people. It breaks my heart, you know, because these people, you know, don't have a real large income, but, you know, they're losing beds, they're losing uh, TVs, everything. Building manager Peg Anastasia says she's not sure what caused the backup, but thinks it may have something to do with the small creek and drains right next door. On your side in Geneva Township, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.